Hi everybody, I'm Rick Riz, play-by-play -play announcer for the Seattle Mariners and also co-founder of our Toys for Kids charity. I'm proud to say that for the past 25 years, Toys for Kids has worked with the Broadview Women's Shelter because the shelter and the women there, along with their kids, are exactly who we set out to help when we started our charity. But you know, the real heroes in this story are the women who work at the shelter to give these women and their kids a chance to get their lives back together and on a path for a brighter future. So on behalf of Toys for Kids, thank you. My name is Vishwajit Singh. I'm coming to you from New York City. Two years ago, I had the honor and privilege of working with the youth at Sandpoint Campus. They are an amazing bunch who come from very humble and vulnerable backgrounds. What they brought in the sessions that I got to work with them, storytelling sessions, is a tremendous amount of hope and creative energy. We got to work on this comics anthology, all of their creation, superheroes inspired by their own selves who are going to solve problems of the future. To me, that gives me hope for the future, knowing they will get to be the leaders of tomorrow. My name is Kenya and I am a member of the Community Council at Solid Ground. What led me to um, join the Community Council was um, in a way of giving back to the organization after receiving their help. I think one of the ways that Solid Ground contribute to um, eradicating the impact of poverty in our community is by providing the service um, and treating people with dignity despite the circumstances um, in which they find themselves. Hi, my name is Deidre Cunningham and I'm currently the chair of the Solid Ground Board of Directors. And I think what inspires me the most is that I did spend most of my childhood living in poverty in a community filled with families that also didn't have any money like mine. I spent time in government funded programs where some of the adults running those programs really just didn't have any expectation that I would reach my dreams or potential. So I believe that I do this work now to ensure that every person is treated with respect and given the support they need to reach that potential and to accomplish their dreams.